Hello, good evening. Maria Jamilet, good evening. Rodrigo Jose, good evening. Jenny, Carolina, good evening. Carlos, Miguel, welcome. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, mister? Fine, thanks, teacher. And uh, you? I'm good, thank you for asking. What about the rest? How are you today? <clears throat> Hello, Carlos, Miguel. Hello, good evening. Good evening, mister. Hello, good evening, good evening. How are you, Jenny? Fine. Nice. That's good. That's good, good, good. Let's wait a few seconds for the other ones. Vamos a esperar unos segunditos por los demás, okay? Hello, Karen. Welcome. Hello, Diana. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Good evening. Let's wait two more minutes for the other ones. Vamos a esperar unos segunditos, un minutito, un minutito más por los demás. So we can start with this, okay? Welcome, uh, Ana Veronica, hello, hello, Mr. Julio, welcome. Mm -mm -mm. Hello, good evening. I think, well, no, nobody else has come. Hello, Wills. Oh, you're oyente today, okay. Carlos Roberto, welcome, mister. Okay, so let's start with the class. Thank you, everybody, for, hello. Hello, mister. Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening, mister. Welcome. Thank you. No problem. Okay, wait. Okay, so let's start with today's class. Vamos a continuar y a iniciar this class of module number three. This is English for Word Program. My name, one more time, is Lizeth Rosmeni Alvarado Martinez. And today it is Tuesday, November 22nd, 2022, right? Today we are going to continue with unit number one, that is company identity, okay? And um, basically today we're going to continue talking about uh, how to describe uh, the department that you work for. And also we are going to continue talking about some uh, verbs with ing and prepositions, okay? But before we start, we are going to go with this activity that is called Last Word Respond. Okay, vamos a iniciar con esta actividad, la cual se llama Last Word Respond. And how do you do it? ¿Y cómo se hace? So I'm going to start with um, a sentence, okay? Yo voy a empezar con una oración y ustedes van a ir agregándole, okay, a esta oración. Cada quien va a ir agregando algo. And then, de ahí tienen que recordar la oración que yo diga y la oración que 
eh, diga la siguiente persona y así vea, vamos a ir recordando hasta hacer una gran big big story. So we have to pay attention, ok? Tenemos que prestar atención a lo que diga cada uno de sus compañeros. Good evening, Rebeca. Good evening, uh, who else? And enter Nilton. Good evening, Adriana. Good evening, Miss, Del Miss Blanca. Hello, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so I'm gonna start, okay? Voy a iniciar, and my sentence is like this. Uh, it would be, yesterday I went to the supermarket and I bought bananas, okay? Yesterday I went to the supermarket and I bought bananas, okay? Let's continue, Mr. Carlos Miguel. Vamos a continuar, Mr. Yesterday I went to the supermarket. No se escucha. No, yo no, no escucho bien. And the other ones, si los demás me escuchan. Déjeme reír. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, maybe, I don't know, Mr. Hello. ¿Y ahora? No. Voy a revisar aquí. Permítame. Okay, no problem. Okay, so Karen and Stefania, you're going to help me. Yesterday I went to the supermarket and I bought bananas. Entonces tú vas a repetir lo que yo diga y vas a agregar algo que compraste en el supermarket. Okay? Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Karen? Yesterday I went to the supermarket. Um, bananas. Ajá, uh -huh. and bananas. Uh -huh. uh, watermelon. And watermelon, very good. Ana Verónica, continue. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Yesterday I went to the supermarket, a banana, and I buy watermelon and an apple. And I uh, buy an apple. Very good. Continue, Blanca. Um, yesterday I went to the supermarket, bought banana and buy melon, creo que es. Melon, watermelon, and, watermelon, water, watermelon and apple and buy orange. Orange, okay. Continue, Carlos Roberto. Very good, Blanca. Yesterday I went to the supermarket Maybe. and, and uh -huh. banana and watermelon uh -huh. and, and uh, apple and orange uh -huh. and grape. Orange and grapes. Okay, very good, Carlos Roberto. Let's go, Jenny's. Yesterday, yesterday I went to the supermarket, the bananas. Watermelon, mm -hmm. apples, orange, grapes, um, uh, <laughs> pineapple. Pineapples, very pineapple. good. Pineapples, very good. Continue, Rodrigo Jose. Wait, teacher, que está larga la fila. Bananas, uh -huh, watermelon, okay. uh huh. Yesterday I went to the supermarket uh -huh. to buy banana, uh -huh. watermelon, apple, orange, uh -huh. uh, gray, uh -huh. and pineapple, uh -huh. and coconut. Okay, coconut. Excellent. Adriana, continue, miss. Uh, yesterday I went to the market and buy bananas, uh -huh. watermelon, Yeah. Apple, orange, grape, mm -hmm. pineapples, uh -huh. coconut, uh, and strawberry. Strawberry. Oh, very good. Delicious. Continue, Miss Rebecca. Very good, very good so far. Miss Rebecca. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Miss. You have a long <laughs> sentence. Yes. <laughs> Yesterday, I went to I went supermarket uh -huh. by bananas, mm -hmm. watermelon. Watermelon, uh -huh. apple, uh -huh. orange, uh -huh. grape, <laughs> and la piña como es. Pineapple. 
pineapple, pineapple, pineapple coconut, uh -huh. strawberry, and I know, because you freeze. Oh my goodness, no. And cereal. And cereal. Oh, very good. Good, good, good. Cereal. See, let's go, Chemi. al final. Let's go. David and Manuel. Welcome, mister. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Eh, ¿Cómo es la frase, teacher? Yesterday, Yesterday I went to the supermarket. I went. Okay. Yeah. Eh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yesterday I went to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Banana, watermelon, apple, orange, mm -hmm. grape, mm -hmm. pineapple, coconut, strawberry, <laughs> cereal, uh -huh. kiwi. And kiwi. Okay. Continue, Diana. <laughs> Very good. Yesterday I went to the supermarket, banana, watermelon, mm -hmm. apple, orange, watermelon, grey, pineapple, coconut, strawberry, cereal, kiwi. <laughs> One for you, ahora tienes que agregar una tú. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> Coca-Cola, me, Coca-Cola, water. I don't know. Coca -Cola. Okay, very good. Thank you. Let's go. Mr. Edwin, welcome, Mr. To module number three. Edwin Mineros. Let's go, Mr. ¿Qué me le pasó, Mr.? What happened there? I cannot see. Mr. Edwin. Okay, there. Uh -huh. Teacher, teacher. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Estamos haciendo una oración y debemos de agregar algo. Pero I think, creo que los que estaban de último, creo que no, no escucharon la indicación. So, don't worry. Vamos a dejarlo hasta ahí. But very good with the ideas that everybody gave. Ok, muy bien. Eh, con las ideas que dieron, don't worry. Vamos a tener otra actividad that everybody can participate. Ok, so don't worry. You did an awesome jump, everybody. Now, uh, in the next activity, okay, that I have very good so far, but in the next one, we have to practice. Yesterday, as you remember, we were doing a little bit of practice for the infinitives. Do you remember which ones are the infinitives? ¿Recuerdan cuáles eran los infinitivos? What are the infinitives? ¿Y me recuerda? Uh -huh. Two and there. And a verb, very good, right? Y recuerden que los infinitives los utilizamos para expresar un objective, okay, un objetivo que tengamos, or maybe un purpose, un, un propósito que tengamos, vea. Y lo vamos a utilizar para escribir una vision or mission, okay, right now. And that is the activity that we are going to do right now. So here it says, in groups of threes, okay, vamos a trabajar en threes. Choose a local company or think of your own. Van a elegir una, una compañía, ok, que ya esté, o pueden crearla de ustedes, ok. And you have to write an effective mission and vision statement, ok. Y tienen que crear una o, o buscar una eh, misión and vision. Like, for example, let's think about, like, hmm, let's see. I'm going to go with Wendy's, for example. Wendy's, delicious hamburgers, as you know. And let's say that Wendy's eh, effective mission is, digamos que la, la misión de Wendy's is to be the best, no es esa, pero vamos a, vamos a pensar, to be the best um, hamburgers, hamburgers of El Salvador. <laughs> Okay, no, son la mejor. Uh, yes, let's say it, okay? Just an example, okay? And to create, um, wait a second, let me mute somebody. It's doing a little bit of, yeah, okay. Give me one second. Okay, Miss Marlene. And to create the best uh, melt, melt, Mushroom, <laughs> mushroom hamburger, ya me hambre. Okay, so let's say that this is the mission. Digamos que esa es la misión que tienen, ¿verdad? Uh, uh, recuerden que la mission is something, es algo que, <coughs> que se cumple 
en cinco años o más. Y en la vision es un propósito que tienen, ¿ok? Y tenemos que pensar en eso para poder crear esta vision y esta mission, ¿ok? Do we understand what are we going to do? Si ¿Sí entendemos que lo que vamos a realizar en estos momentos, you guys. ¿Sí me entienden? Yes, teacher. Ok. I'm going to put you in groups of three. Recuerden, pueden elegir una compañía que ya esté o pueden crear ustedes sus propios um, missions, ¿ok? De una compañía que ustedes, like, like, no sé, like anything. It could be like Rodrigo's companies or maybe Verónica's company. I don't know. Something like that. You can create, ¿ok? Ustedes la pueden crear, ¿ok? Crear algo nuevo. That's okay. That will be perfect. O pueden elegir una que ya esté, ¿verdad? Like Wendy's, Subway, Starbucks, Simán, Omnisport, ¿ok? Anything. Y la buscan y la tienen que crear utilizando, recuerden, el Infinity, ¿ok? Yes? Let's go. I'm going to create a team. Vamos a hacer grupos. Y debemos de crearlo entre los tres que lo voy a poner ahorita a trabajar. Deben de crear esto. ¿Ok? Write it down. Le escriben en su cuaderno porque después vamos a regresar y van a compartirla aquí en la clase. ¿Ok? Questions? Preguntas al momento? No, teacher. I'm going to give you four minutes only. ¿Ok? Four minutes or five minutes. ¿Ok? So let's go. Accept the invitation, please. Accept the invitation, please, please. Thank you. Pues sí. yo la tengo acá. Vale, entonces podemos, <coughs> podemos idearla, acoplarla en inglés. Hello, do you finish, Julio, en Blanca? Sí, no, éramos tres. Yes, lo que pasa es que creo que tuvo problemas para... Ahorita le voy a mandar a alguien, wait a second. Tuvo problemas para conectarse mis Marlin. Aquí les voy, les, les traigo a alguien más. Ok, don't worry. personas integrales Por y críticas qué? en el aprendizaje. Esas dos para, ya que ya están. Ok, entonces, uh, la de Diana, si quiere, entonces. La de Diana. Ajá. Quiero ver, no la encuentro, no sé si Uy, se salió la Diana. Foto. Puso, no, ella puso, abajito de la suya está. Ah, así me ah, parece abajito. a mí. Ajá. De, pues, ah, sí, ya, ya la vi. Sí, Ticha puede ser de las mismas que pusimos ayer, ¿verdad? Ok. Yes. Yeah, that's okay, no problem. Mm. Ah, ok. Hello. Hello, teacher. ¿Nos puede habilitar la función para compartir pantalla? Yes, yeah, sure. I'm sorry. There you have it. Sí. There you have it there. So you can, comp uh, you can share, sorry. Try right now if you can share. Can you try it? Mm -hmm. 
uh, share, share screen. Yeah. Okay, there. There, Mr. Jorge Luis is chair right now. Okay. Sí, se ve, ¿verdad? Sí. A ver. La... Ah, ya no lo vi. <laughs> Maybe, Miss, you can send a picture on, on WhatsApp, Miss. Tal vez pueden ver una foto en WhatsApp, Miss, so it can be easier. So, así la pueden, no importa que la lean los demás, so it's not the same anyways. No va a ser la misma, so no problem. En el grupo provide the best pizza. Yeah. And the best service for everyone always. Así. Uh, teacher, Lo voy a decir más despacio. Lo... Para todos. Supply. In English. To, to everyone. To everyone. Ajá. Oh, Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. To everyone. Ajá. Uh -huh. Teacher, corríjanos si estamos mal. Eh, ok, la, la misión. Ok. Pro, provide. No sé si es correcta la pronunciación. To, to, to provide. To Remember pro, if. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. to, to provide the best pizza. Ajá. Uh -huh. And the best service mm -hmm. for everyone always. Aha, uh -huh. that's for for who? Who is the company? What is the company? Sorry. Uh, Papa Jones. Ah, okay. No, that's the mission or the vision. Mission. Mission. Ah, mission. great. That's good. Very good. Es como usted, como usted dijo para cinco años. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, okay, good. But you're good. That's perfect. Thank you. So, so only, only mission teacher or no. vision también? Vision too, please. Yes, you okay. have to do. Okay. okay. Thank you. Bye. Si quieren, copien la Nilton, Karen y, y Carmen. Creo que llama la Supply. Sí, Carmen se llama. Carmen. Lo, lo, voy a activar mi, mi, mi. Dar una fuerza. Podemos poner también. ¿Cómo dijo? Fomentar una fuerza de trabajo. Eh, quiero ver. Con habilidades. Uh -huh. Ahorita vamos a ver. Right, eso es lo que supuestamente tenemos que hacer. Dice: Choose a local company or a team of your own. Read an effective mission and vision statement for it. Prácticamente nosotros la tenemos que hacer, entonces tendríamos que nada más agarrarla como base. Según lo que yo entiendo. Ahí. Uh -huh. Yes, exactly, Mr. For example, ahí, to delivering, is it correct? Delivering. Ajá, uh -huh. so it would be Entend to deliver, ok? Deliver. To de ahí, por ahí puede empezar. To deliver to our customers items with the best technology. Yeah, it's the same. Okay. Just, just to use the infinity, what we were learning yesterday, lo que estuvimos ap aprendiendo el día de ayer. The infinities, ok? Okay. Just to make it like that. I want you to make it like that, okay? Entonces aquí sería deliver. Uh -huh. You cannot use that one mm -hmm. to deliver to our cost to our customers. Yeah, that's perfect. So customer is the wish the best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Helping. Uh no, that's perfect. That's perfect. Es que, es, sí, 
lo que no pueden utilizar el tú más un ing, sino que tiene que ser el verbo normal. Ok, okay. so, ajá. And then in the vision, to position ourselves, to position ourselves in the national market as a leading company in the self household items. And then the rest is perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's yeah, just at yeah. the beginning, to position, to position. Because remember, yeah, remember that to express the vision and mission, you have to use the infinitives. El tema que estuvimos aprendiendo el día de ella. But that's perfect. Very good. You're good with this one. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Just write it down. Remember your notebook, everybody. So you have it, okay? Well, Mr. has it in the notes, but you, everybody, Jenny's and Carlos, please write it down. Give me one more minute, okay? Okay. Ya terminamos. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Okay. Diana se salió porque dijo que no le sirve el internet, se le frisa la pantalla. Sí, ahorita la estaba ya llevo dos intentos tratándola de unir y no puedo porque acá la estamos uniendo y no puedo, no le no le conecta. So we are going to go back. Vamos a regresar a la principal. Okay. Thank you. Very good job. If you finish, we are going to share. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hello, welcome, Dimas, yeah. welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. Hello. hello. Thank you. Okay, so we were working a little bit. Estamos trabajando un poco. We were doing these that you were supposed to create um, a vision and a mission, right? A vision and a mission of a company. Because if you translate it, si la traducen de acá de... De El Salvador, pues no, pues no le va a salir, no le va a salir así literal de to create, to deliver, to give, to eat, ok? So you were supposed to use the infinitives, tenían que utilizar los infinitivos, lo que estuvimos practicando el día de ayer. So I want to listen to some of you, quiero escuchar a algunos de ustedes. And so I want to listen first. I know, but wait, me faltan algunos que. Okay, now yes. Uh, so let's see. Can you share, please, el grupo de Nilton, Karen, David, and Carmen? Uh, Karen, Karen, can you read to me the vision and the mission of the company that you choose? Can you help me, please, Karen? Uh, Miss. The mission in company Papayo. Okay. To supply the best pizza and the best service mm -hmm. for everyone, always. Okay. And the, the vision? Vision. Uh -huh. To be the, num the number one pizza chain in quality and the brand most loved. Mm -hmm. by our customer. Very good. I love it, Miss. Thank you. Very good job, you guys. Thank you for doing it. Let's go with another team. Muy bien hecho, you guys. Nilton, Karen, David, and, and Carmen. Let's go now with the team of Julio, Blanca, and Arla Marleni. Do you finish, guys? No te no logramos terminar. Oh, okay, no problem. Let's see another team. Um, let's go with Adriana, Clelia, and Rebecca. Do you finish, girls? Or no, you didn't. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. mm. Clelia, can you read it, please? Okay, mm -hmm. Misha. To position ourselves at the top of fast food. Okay. Restaurant, restaurant chains as the best of all in the area of hamburger. Okay. What is the, the, the for what company is it? Um, burger King. Ah, okay. Burger King. Uh -huh. And the vision? Vision. 
offer its customers the best hamburgers as well as a wide variety of tasty and healthier food. Excellent, Miss. Let's open an open fight. Oh, nice. Thank you for sharing. That's good. Delicious hamburgers, right? From Burger King. I love them. I don't know why, but yeah. Thank you, Miss. Let's go with Carlos, Miguel, Jenny's, and Jorge Luis. Um, can you help me, please, Jenny's? Tell me the vision and the mission, please. Mission? Yeah, please. Uh, we are, we are come, come, come time to deliver to our customer, I think, with the best technology and quality mm -hmm. for their home, helping mm -hmm. them with their need and providing. Providing? Them, Provide. them providing a better life. life Mm -hmm. Comfort with full satis satisfaction mm -hmm. and of our service. Of our service, yeah. And what about the vision? The vision, mm -hmm. the position of our service in the national market as a leading company in the sales mm -hmm. of household items of the best national and global brands offering warrant quality and specialization service. Very good, Miss. Thank you. Very good job, everybody also in the team. Let's go with Rodrigo, Dima, Ano, Rodrigo and Maria, because Dima creo que llegó hasta el final, ¿verdad, mister? Diana. Uh, no. No, pero también tú estabas, ¿verdad, Diana, en ese grupo? Sí, sí estaba. Ok, ok. So, let's see. So, Diana, María, y Rodrigo, right? Diana, Rodrigo la va a decir. ¿no? Ok. <ríe> ok, Rodrigo, thank you. Ay, Qué no proactiva. Ay, oh my goodness, thank you. Ok. <ríe> Ni me dejó pensar. <ríe> let's go, mister. Tell me. Ok. Uh, the company is... Uh, COP El Salvador is mm -hmm. bank. Um, the vision is to be a solid institution mm -hmm. that contributes to generating mm -hmm. a better quality of life for your clients, uh -huh. helping mm -hmm. the development and growth of the community with social mm -hmm. responsibility. Oh, okay. And? and the mission is we are an organization mm -hmm. that promotes the development and growth of your clients, yeah. satisfying their needs and expectation through agile and timely financial solutions. Yes. Uh, what company is that one, mister? Uh, Cop El Salvador. Uh, it's fictitious. Uh huh. It's a fiction. It's a fiction. Oh, yes. Yes. okay. Very good. I remember that Jorge Luis, Jenny, and Carlos was Omnisport. So thank you. Very good. And the other ones. Okay. Perfect. Uh. Okay. Let's. I'm gonna continue. Okay. For the rest that haven't participated, para el resto que no han participado, don't worry, Serafín. Acabo de ver ahí un su mensaje, pero don't worry. Este para el resto que no ha participado. So, Participate ahorita, later you're going to participate, okay? Después van a participar. Right now, I'm gonna do attendance section. Uh, sorry, alguien me estaba llamando, no. Vamos a hacer la sección de asistencia. Please say presente. Give me one second. One second, because I don't see right now, oh my goodness, this is too small for me. Okay, so Adriana Gabriela. Presente. Thank you. Ana Marleni. Presente. Thank you. Blanca Luz. Presente. Thank you. Carlos Miguel. Carlos Roberto. Presente. Pero yo vi a Carlos Miguel por ahí. Sí, estaba ahí ratito. Ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. Ajá, thank you. Present, present. No me escucha, me hicieron un... 
Yes. Ah, ok. Ok. Cristian Alexander. Claudia Ma María. Clelia Estela. Present. Thank you. David Emanuel. Present, teacher. Thank you. Diana Noemi. Present. Diana, are you there? Presente. Oh, thank you. <laughs> es que solo escuché ten and I was like, hmm, Edwin Roberto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jenis Carolina. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jorge Luis Castaneda. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Dimas. Present teacher. Thank you. Julio Cesar. Present. Thank you. Karen Estefania. Present teacher. Thank you. Nilton Alexander. Present. Thank you. Rodrigo Jose. Present teacher. Thank you. Ruth Rebecca. Present teacher. Thank you. Serafín Constanza. Present. Thank you. María Yamilet. Present. Thank you. Carmen Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. María, pero Carmen. Oh, yeah, I see you. Ya te vi. Ana Verónica. Present. Thank you. Marlene Oneida. Thank you. Juan Ezequiel. Oh, no, él no ha venido por ahora. And okay, thank you everybody for doing the attendance section. Okay, so that was the other activity that I have for you today. Now we are going to continue. Ahora vamos a continuar. And the next one, and today's topic, okay? We are going to change a little bit. Vamos a cambiar un poco. And give me one second. What is happening? Wait, wait a second. What is happening? I don't know. Okay, so in the next one, first we are going to go to the manual. Vamos a ir al manual, okay? And in the manual, we are going to go to page number 13, okay? So in page 13 in the manual, okay? So we have this one, no, that's 11. So it's this one, okay? 13, okay, everybody? Everybody goes there. Oh, yeah, yeah, what did I do? No! <laughs> I want to hide my bookmarks. Okay, there. So here, as you can see, we are going to continue with uh, unit number one still, but it's in page 13. It's because they are ordered like this for a reason, okay? Están ordenados así las páginas por una razón, so that's why everybody go to the manual in page 13. And here we have a question, very important question. And it says, do you know what is it? It is an organizational organization chart. Do you know what is that? Any ideas, thoughts in English, please? That you want to say, what is an organization chart? Mm -hmm. Any thoughts? Why are organization charts uh -huh. important for business? Uh huh. Why? I, uh -huh. Are you familiar with organization charts? Are you familiar why the organization chart of of your company? Uh huh. But do you know what is that? I mean, what is organization organization charts? Do you know what is no, that? Teacher. No. No. This, this is, I'm sorry. Yes, this one, look, this is an organization chart. Okay, an organigrama, un mapa conceptual, I don't know. They have many names. Un, um, ¿Qué otro es la otra forma que le, nombre que le da? Eh, organigrama. Flujograma. Uh -huh, flujograma in Spanish. There are many ways to call them, right? Hay muchos nombres. But in English, okay, they are called organization sharps. So now I have a question. Why are organization sharps 
important in business, en negocios? Why are they important? ¿Por qué creen que son muy importantes tener estos organization sharps? Why? Hmm. Any thoughts, any ideas? Es que los organigramas este, miden los, los niveles de autoridad para tener un mejor orden en la empresa. Yes, in English. <laughs> to have. Yeah, me teach in English. <laughs> to have an order. Re repeat this. To have. To have an, an order. order uh -huh, <clears throat> of hierarchy. Of hierarchy. Yes. yes. Very good. Thank you, Miss. Definitely. And also, here you have the different, like what Miss said, it's it's true, right? Aquí tenemos, miren, el, el, lo que dijo la Miss es verdad, vea. So we have the different types, okay? So here, for example, we have the floor manager, el, el gerente del piso, so, o del nivel. Then the next ones are safety engineers. En maintaining shift, ok, los siguientes en la jerarquía serían safety engineers, serían los ingenieros de seguridad y el maintaining shift, que sería el jefe de mantenimiento. After those, we have in the safety engineer, supervisor, el supervisor, then the machine operators and the assemblers and truck drivers. And for the maintaining shift, it will be maintenance personal. So, yes, it's to show the order of importance, right? Para mostrar el orden de importancia vea, para cada puesto en este, en este caso. So, it's very important. So, eh, in a company, obviously. Here, uh, to continue, we have a little bit of a conversation. And I want to volunteers to help me to read these. Raise your hand, volunteers, to help me to read. Only two people. Oh, thank you, Carlos Miguel. Very good. And Ana Verónica. Uy, oh my goodness. And after Miss, I can't forget, Miss Rebecca. Pero ahorita Ana Verónica and Carlos Miguel. Okay. Uh -huh. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. Uh -huh. I am the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. Uh, my department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plan. I see. It'll be part of maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. All departments work together, but the Maintenance, 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 maintenance mm -hmm. chief if charge of directing the department. You be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Very good. Thank you for doing it. So as you can see, uh, they are uh, explaining right the positions of their job and. What do they have to do, right? Ahí como pueden ver, durante la conversación están explicando qué es lo que deben de hacer, ¿verdad? Este, y también las posiciones de los trabajos, ¿verdad? El safety engineer es mucho, está en una jerarquía un poco más alta. And the other one's eh, a little bit down, right? Now, here we have a question and it says, the number one, who is responsible for keeping the safety of the personnel in the plant? According to the conversation, who is the, who is the responsible? In a suffering engineer. The safety. Jessica safety. department, mm -hmm. uh, safety engineer. We'll say, so it would be Jessica. Oh, wait, wait. No sé por qué, it's not writing. Okay. Tina, Jessica. Department. Safety. Safety, safety you say, right? Give me one second. I'm just looking for the manual here. My, oh, here. Okay, there. And. Uh, 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 
here. So it would be oh, here. No, this is page 13, right? Okay, so Jessica department in safe, Jessica safety engineer, right? Jessica is the responsible. Ahí Jessica es la responsable, ¿verdad? Who is in charge of directing the maintaining personnel? Who is in charge? ¿Quién está a cargo de directing the maintaining personnel? Roxana. Exactly. Roxana will be, right? So Roxana is in charge of directing the personnel. Give me one sec. Let me move it. And who is responsible? Who is Roxana responsible to? Um, the wood ma maintenance chief in charge of directing your department. Maintenance. Uh, maintenance chief. Wait, let me, let me, I always, uh, maintain. Department. Department? So who is, who is Roxana responsible to? The department, uh, mm -hmm. maintenance personnel. Okay. Personal, oh, yeah. My name is Chief. Chief. Chief, uh huh. Okay, Chief. And look at the organizational sharp above. Who is, who are the safety engineer and the maintenance? She's responsible to. A quien deben de responder? El safety and the need. Safety engineer and maintaining shift. Aquí en deben, de acuerdo con el organizational um, sharp, to floor who? Manager. Floor manager. Floor manager. Exactly. Floor manager. So you, they are responsible to the floor manager. Exactly. Thank you. Okay. So these are the. Um, answers for this one's okay so and now as you can see there are some words in bold como pueden notar por ahí tienen unas preguntas y estas preguntas que acabamos de hacer y están en negrita unas palabritas verdad so there is um a reason for that okay hay una razón por eso and it is that in some cases as you can see we use adjectives with prepositions and we use gerunds, okay? So we are going to study that. May I move on? ¿Puedo continuar? Yes. Okay, so um, he... no. Nope. Okay, no problem. Yeah. I'm gonna put it one more time there. Ahí lo tiene. Can I move on? Puedo continuar or no? Let me know. Yes, teacher. Okay, because I'm waiting. <laughs> okay, so, yes. okay, okay. And so now I have a question for you, everybody here. So who are you responsible for? Who are you responsible for? Here, wait, here, I'm gonna get it closer here. Who are you responsible for and, and who are you responsible to, okay? De quienes ustedes son responsables, porque siempre como veníamos hablando, vea, there's a hierarchy, hay como una jerarquía. So, who are you respon responsible for and who are you responsible to? Like, for example, I am, I'm going to explain my situation. I am 
I am responsible. Responsible. Wait, I always had a, a, a bad time with this word. Give me one second. Wait a second. Oh my goodness, here. Okay, so I am responsible for my students, okay? So I am responsible, responsible of you, okay? Yo soy responsable por ustedes, okay? And I also, I am responsible, okay, to my uh, coordinator, okay? Coordinator of the classes, okay? So I have to let the people know, okay, about what happens, okay? Si yo soy responsable para, o sea, yo le tengo que rendir cuentas a mi coordinador, ok, que me ayuda con ustedes y que les manda mensajes a veces, ok. So, y yo soy responsable de, eh, para ustedes, ¿por qué? No, quiero decir de ustedes en el for, es de ustedes. Uh, ¿Por qué? Porque ustedes, eh, mi deber es que ustedes se conecten a las actividades, ¿ok? Y la otra mis a quien yo le rindo cuentas, debe de verles el link, chequear la plataforma, sometimes, eh, chequear por qué no vienen, ¿verdad? Que les llaman o les escriben a veces, entonces, así, pues, así va la jerarquía. Y antes de ella, de mi coordinator, está my boss. Y antes de mi boss, está en Safor. <ríe> y antes de Safor, está el, el like that, okay? So for you, who are you responsible for? Okay, quiero que, empiece, que piensen ahorita, who are you responsible for? And who are you responsible to? Okay, y quienes son to? Okay, this is the question. Who are you responsible for? And who, we, who are you responsible to think about it i'm gonna give you one minute Okay, so who are you responsible for? Let's see. Mm, I want to listen from Mr. Vamos a empezar. Le voy a preguntar a cada uno. Who are you responsible for? Miss Ana Marlene. Who are you responsible for? I am responsible for the new co-workers. Oh, nice. Very good. Hey, who, huh? Nosotros entrenamos a los que vienen. Wow, that's good. And so, ¿a quién les rindes cuenta? Who are you responsible to? I am responsible to my mm -hmm. immediately bus because I have two. Oh, okay. My immediately bus and, and the supervisor. Okay, so I think are different. Uh -huh, I understand. But I think your your first boss it would be right. My first boss. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, that would be nice. And and the other one it would be the supervisor, I guess. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Very good. Thank you. What about you? Please tell me, Serafin, who are you responsible for? Excuse me. Who are you responsible for? Um, the, um, mm -hmm. eh, ¿cómo se diría? Uh -huh. I am Capacita responsible. Capacitación de, de asesores de créditos. ¿Cómo okay. se diría? So, I am responsible for the new, hmm. For the new, pero employees. 
employees, ok, pero... Employees. Ajá, uh -huh, employees. Ok, los nuevos trabajadores. ¿Usted capacita a los nuevos eh, trabajadores? Asesores en este caso, asesores de créditos. Um, ok, so for the new... Mm, wait, asesores, it would be like... Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. Credit advisor. Ajá, uh -huh. credit advisor. Definitely very good. Thank you, mister. Credit advisor. I did, I was trying to remember, but that's good advisor. Aunque, bueno, la, la realidad es la, uh -huh. la función principal es este uh -huh. revisión de solicitudes de crédito. Oh, so it would, no, but it's the same, mister. Pero es lo mismo, porque tú eres eh, like responsible. Tú eres para los nuevos, nuevos créditos que van a agarrar, ¿verdad? Así yes. es. Ajá, so yes. ya. Yeah. And then, uh, you, who are you responsible to? ¿A quién les rendes cuentas? So, who, oh, mister? No, eh, gerente general ah, de negocio. I am responsible to the eh, general manager. Ok. Sí. Ok. Thank you, mister. Let's go next one. Tell me you... Mr. Jorge Luis, tell me, who are you responsible for? I'm responsible for my clients. Clients, okay, good. Clients, uh -huh. client. And who are you responsible to, Mr.? I'm responsible to my supervisor. Supervisor, oh, okay. Supervisor. Very good, thank you for sharing, Mr. That's good. What about you, Blanca Delgado? Who are you responsible for, Miss? I am responsible uh, for my trainers. You're, um, I'm sorry, one more time? Are you responsible for? Trainers. Entrenadores. Trainers. Ah. Tra trainers. Okay, trainers. Uh -huh. And, and who, are who are you responsible to? ¿A quién le das I am responsible uh -huh. to my boss and plan manager. Ah, oh, nice. Thank you for sharing, Miss. Very good. What about you? Ay, oh my goodness, I don't know. Uh, David Emanuel, who are you responsible for? Tell us, mister. David Emanuel, are you there? Sorry, sorry, microphone. Oh, okay, so who are responsible <laughs> uh, for? I am responsible for my work team. Your work team, really? Yes. And, okay, so who are you responsible to? If they work to. good, ¿a quién le dice? Ah, ellos trabajaron bien, ¿a quién le dice? Ah, there. Um, my supervisor. Your supervisor, okay. So what happens? Your supervisor, you tell them how do they work, right? Tú les dices como trabaja, like that? O sea, yo superviso y a mí me supervisan. Uh, okay, <laughs> so the supervisor or the supervisor, you are. Okay, okay. Uh -huh, so yeah. the, the supervisor, the supervisor, okay, that's good, mister. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As you can see, and as we were doing it here, eh, como pudieron ver, pues acá estamos compartiendo con, pues, de quiénes son responsables, así como veíamos en la jerarquía, ok? Now, and there are many ways to use the, eh, the prepositions, ok? Hay muchas maneras de utilizar las prepositions, and right now we are going to learn another one. What is a preposition? A preposition to continue, it's a word that we use with some verbs and with some adjectives sometimes. Las preposiciones son palabritas, pequeñas palabritas, ok, es que se utilizan, ya sean con tiempo, con también eh, para explicar un lugar y también se utilizan con verbos, ok, y adjetivos, ok, con cualquier, básicamente con cualquier palabra podemos utilizarlo, pero hay maneras, ok, there are ways to use them, ok, and here we have the first one, esta es una preposición, in, in, that is dentro, ok, and also in, and also we have, wait, let me show them, at, on, for, to, of, 
about, and there are many more, y hay muchísimos más. Pero estos son los principales que vamos a utilizar en nuestras oraciones el día de ahora. Ok. So, in, at, on, for, to, of, and about. And then, what are we going to do? So, today we are going to learn how to use gerunds after prepositions, okay? Gerunds after prepositions uh, express like something that they do, okay? Um, los gerunds precedidos por una preposición, o sea, eh, pues, Tratan de expresar um, un sentimiento, ok, and no es como ando o endos, ok, sino it would be a different thing. Y aquí tenemos un poquito de explicación. Here, for example, give me one second. Here we have the, the prepositions one more time. Aquí tenemos una, las preposiciones una vez más. And then we have the plus, and then we have an ing. And here we have some examples. Ahí tenemos algunos ejemplos. Can you help me to read, please? Miss mm. Clenia, number one. Help me to read. I apologize for staging that. Thank you. Can you help me with the next one? Dimas? Okay. I am in Paris. Interested in learning more. Interested. Interested, Interested in learning more. Very learning good. More. Okay. Thank you. Diana, next one. We are excited about visiting a new place. Thank you. Next one, Jenny's. Uh, Ana Veronica. We stop him from crossing the street. Thank you. Um, let's see, Adriana, help me here, please. Uh, I look forward to meeting you. Yes. Okay. And in this case, as you can see, y como pueden ver por acá, okay, this one, uh, it's not correct in the other one, como pueden ver acá, pues si nos basamos en lo que estuvimos aprendiendo ayer, pues no sería posible, pero hay una diferencia, ok, what is the difference? Eh, here we have the subject, aquí tenemos en todas, como pudieran ver, tenemos un sujeto, después teníamos un verbo, whatever verb you like, y después teníamos o oh, una prepos, I mean, una... Um, un adjetivo, como por ejemplo, interested, interesado, excited, emocionado. Uh, bueno, aquí teníamos un pronombre también y aquí teníamos forward. Forward, it's a preposition to, ok? Uh, and also, uh, it would be an adjective, ok? And then we have to. Y después teníamos la preposición to. Y después teníamos el, el germ, ok? Y el gerundio. To complete the idea. I'm sorry. Let's go with the next one. This is just an example. I have some more. Tengo otros ejemplos. Don't worry. Here are, are another options to use them. Okay. Aquí hay otras opciones para utilizarlos. Y aquí tenemos adjectives. Okay. Tenemos algunos adjectives, adjetivos. Then, what is the name for this one? Am, um, are, is, and are. One more time. What's the name of that verb? To be. Ajá, uh -huh, the verb to be. And this, y esas, ¿cómo se llaman los que van después del verbo to be? Do you remember? Preposition. Preposition. Prepositions. Preposition. Thank you. Very good. Aquí están otras prepositions. Las mismas que acabamos de ver anteriormente, right? So, in this one, how do you, can you create this one? ¿Cómo las pueden... ¿Cómo pueden crear oraciones? Well, then, so first we need a subject, right? Primero siempre vamos a utilizar un sujeto, like for example, um, she, okay? Then, what is the verb to be para she? Her. Is. Is. Ajá. It. Ajá. El verbo to be para she es 
is, ¿verdad? Is. Ajá. Después del verbo to be, utilizamos un adjetivo. Por ejemplo, she is afraid. Y después una preposición. Like, for example, she is afraid of mm, traveling. ¿Ok? And look. Y como pueden ver por acá, I'm going to mute you for a little bit. Traveling. And as you can see here, como pueden visualizar, pues primero iría siempre un sujeto, un nombre puede ser también, después el verbo to be, un adjetivo, aquí tienen unas ideas, ok, y después la preposition and then the year, ok. Vamos a hacer otro ejemplo. Like for example, can be they. What is the verb to be para they? Are, are. Are. Okay, and then, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. And can you tell me what is the <laughs> the adjective for for the? Um, can you tell me one adjective? Sorry. Can you tell me one adjective? La cámara, teacher. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> something happened. <laughs> The bunny chair. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. They are responsible. Oh, responsible. Thank you. I'm sorry. Me <laughs> okay. Responsible and about. They are responsible about. Can you tell me one term, please? Podrían decir un gerundio, por favor? Any verb. Any verb. Mm -hmm. They are responsible about. Driving, okay, for example. Y miren, miren el orden. Una vez más, we have the subject, they, then we have the verb to be, then we have the adjective, okay, y después tenemos el adjetivo por acá. Then we have the preposition about, and then we have the verb with ing, okay. Questions right now? I think I have some more examples. Yeah, yes, I remember. Okay, so here, who is this guy? Ah, oh, this guy is my ex. No, it's not my ex. <laughs> Why? Okay, here I have some sentences. Okay, aquí tengo algunas oraciones and you're going to help me to read. Carmen, help me to read the first one. He never apologizes for Apologize? For being, for being, for being, being, late. being, being, being late. Excellent. Thank you. Nito, next one. He was, he was interesting was uh -huh. in getting married or having kids. Thank you. Very good. Let's go, Miss Rebecca. He always go. Complain, um, complain, complain, complain mm -hmm. about now not having any friend. Very good. And as you can see, aquí pues tengo de todos tipos, vea, la oración tengo en presente y tengo en like past, pero siempre mire, si se fija, el sujeto, en este caso pues tenía el... Never, que recuerden que, que se utiliza para el presente, después tenía... El um, apologized. Apologize es un adjetivo, vea. A preposición y mire, después la ing. Igual acá, subject, el verbo en pasado, pero de ahí tenemos el adjetivo interested. Preposition in and ing. The same for the next one. He, subject, always, complain. Eso sería el adjetivo. Complain sería quejarse. Then we have here a uh, preposition in ing. Uh, let me do, I, I have some more examples. Here, did I make the right choice? And then I have absolutely yes. And then we have some more examples. Read the next one, Julio. He all will thank me for spending Time. Yes, very good. Next one. 
Help me to read this one, please. Um, Carlos Miguel. He is excited about creating a life together. Uh -huh. And the last, next one, um, Clelia. We always look forward to seeing each other. Seeing each other, very good. Ok, miren todas estas oraciones, same. Y lo mismo, ¿verdad? Siempre sujeto. En este caso tiene always, that is, remember, simple present, right? And then in this one, el verbo es things, right? And then uh, we have the preposition for, and then ing, <coughs> igual. Eh, diferencias, ok? Aquí, por ejemplo, teníamos el eh, things. Uy, no, wait a second. Teníamos things, ok, que es un verbo. Pero a cual, cual, aquí en la número dos, ¿cuál es el verbo? Can you identify that? That, please. Creating. Mm, ajá, pero el otro, antes de creating, ese es el germ. Is. 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 Ajá, el adjetivo sería excited. Excited. Preposition. About. 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 And then creating, ese sería el gerundio. Basically, that's the, the order. Mm. And here we have some prepositions of follows by germs. Y aquí, como pueden ver, pues tenemos un verb, preposition, and germ. Aquí tenemos fácilmente, miren, un verbo, una preposición y un gerundio. And how do you create a sentence? So you first you use a sex uh, verb or a subject, sorry. Like, for example, you can say a name. Uh, that's what I was going to say. Like, Julio. Julio. Apologize. Okay. Apologize. Um, apologized for lying <laughs> in the class. Okay. Miren, primero tenemos el sujeto. Julio. Then we have the verb apologize, preposition, and lying. Hmm. O puede ser también, we, we believe in, eh, in going to the concert, okay? We, we, we believe, me faltó una E por ahí. Okay, so first we have the subject, one more time. We believe the verb, preposition in, y después tenemos el ing más el complemento. Questions, right now is the time. ¿Alguna pregunta o duda? Right now, tell me. Tell me, tell me. Mm -mm 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 -mm. One about. Mm -hmm. I think we are going to create our sentences now. Oh, okay. We are going to practice in here. Oh, no, no, no. Before we do that, we do that, okay? I want you to create at least two sentences, okay? And I want you to send that on the WhatsApp group, okay? Create two sentences using this. Eh, pueden crear dos oraciones utilizando esta imagen. Y las envían en el grupo de WhatsApp, so I can check them out. You can write it in your notebook, las pueden escribir en su cuaderno, o, y me mandan la foto, o las pueden escribir en un mensaje, y ahí, ahí pues lo envían, ¿ok? So, let's do it, please. Vamos a hacerlo, please. I'm going to give you two minutes. Les voy a dar dos minutitos para que puedan hacer esto, ¿ok? I'm going to send you the picture, too. Give me one second. You can see the picture on uh, WhatsApp because I want to get out of here because I want to see something real quick. Okay. No. Mm. 
Ya les muestro una vez más. Here, give me one second. There you have it. Okay, so let's work, please. Two sentences. Two sentences about this. One more minute. Remember, they have to create two sentences using two of these, ¿ok? Dos oraciones que, este, utilizando los que tienen por acá, ¿ok? Solo una consultita. No sé si hay más partido que yo. I'm sorry? Uh, eh, una consulta. Dígame. Eh, quizás ahí me he perdido. Todas las oraciones mm -hmm. va a ser necesario que lleven el verbo to be. No, no, always, Miss. No siempre. Vaya, o si utilizas uno de estos verbos, o utilizas el verbo to be. Ok. Por ejemplo, una con el verbo to be podría ser: I am always, o maybe I am excited. Ok. Excited about, um, about going. Going to El Pital, por ejemplo. Ok, ese es un tipo. ¿Y cómo es ese tipo? Mira, si te das cuenta, por acá, voy, voy a silenciar, alguien tiene a little bit of noise. Ok, so, si te das cuenta, por acá tienes primero, mira, el sujeto, el verbo to be, y después tenemos un adjetivo, ok, adjective. Y después tenemos la preposición y después el ing. Okay. En cambio, en ese tipo, primero tienes el sujeto. Bueno, es, es similar porque siempre tiene, por ejemplo, I, I, o oh, it could be I dream, I dream about going to el pital. Diferencia es que, uy, dream. En este, pues utilizamos el verbo to be, en este solo utilizamos un verbo, like uno de estos o puede utilizar otro, like you like. Ok, no sé si eso explica, Miss. Yes, okay. thank you. No problem.
Oh, very good. He is. He feels like a cook. What? He feels like cooking. Like cooking, maybe it's not like a cooking. Maybe. He feels like cooking. Excellent, Adriana. Thank you. Oh, sis, sorry. Don't plan on driving. I don't feel like cooking. Like cooking, it would be. You were my dream last night. What? Dream. Está bien, pero it's not about that. No entiendo las preguntas. No sé quién las mandó. No, no entiendo esas oraciones. Quiero decir. Very good. We are planning in passing for the house. I am interesting, interested, interested. In is speaking. She is dancing in the party. Mm. Mm, no, I think we're not understanding. Okay, Miss Rebecca, yes, good. Very good. But I think we haven't understood. We're dreaming about traveling to Europe. Okay. I'm planning to go. No. No, no, no. Never see some pain. <laughs> she believe in volunteer to others. Very good, Mr. Demons. Okay. Este, creo que no, algunos nos hemos confundido, otros sí ya me entendieron. Bye. Um, so, in this one, bye. hay dos formas para expresar eh, estas oraciones. Hay dos formas, ok. Vamos a borrar todo esto. La primera es con el verbo to be. ¿Por qué? Porque este tema se llama Gems. Follow by verbs, I mean by prepositions, sorry. Okay, este tema se llama gerundios precedidos por una preposición, okay. To express like an obligation, para expresar eh, like, a, what can we say, like a, una obligación, like something to do, okay. Algo que debes de hacer. Ok, thank you. Vaya, y que hay una de, una de las formas para expresar. Esto es de la siguiente manera. Ok, una de las formas es que primero va un sujeto. Ok, we are planning and passing for the house. Ok, so no, vaya, primero un sujeto, like for example... I, vamos a vernos siempre con I to make it easier, ok, después está la primera que es con el verbo to be, por ejemplo I am y después un adjetivo, vamos, le puede escribir la, la, la estructura subject, ok, then the verb to be que fue la primera que vimos, después el adjective, después eh, la preposition Y después el gero, ok, ese sería el orden de la primera oración, 
que el primer tipo de oración. Miren, sujeto, verbo to be, adjective, preposition, and gerb. ¿Ok? Entonces puede ser así, miren. I am, uh, I am interested, I don't want to use interested, but anyway, interested of, I am interested of, because eso, eso fue una de las preposiciones, ¿verdad? Que les mostraba, I am interested of, hmm, let's see, running. Ok, y miren. Aquí tengo esa estructura, la que les explicaba antes, sujeto, verbo to be, el adjetivo, la preposición y el gerundio. Aquí está, miren. Esta sería el sujeto, verb to be, el adjective, the preposition of y el gerund. ¿Ok? Eso es el Jerón ahí dice eh, es porque el ver, se le agrega ING, ¿verdad? Sí, siempre. Eso Al creo verbo. que lo vieron ajá, en el módulo anterior. Sí. Vieron, ¿verdad? Ajá. ajá. So, yes. Por eso no se los expliqué porque yo ya sabía que lo estudiaron en el módulo anterior. ¿Ok? Va. Esa es una de las estructuras. Second structure. La segunda estructura es subject, ¿ok? Verb. Cualquier verbo, no el verbo to be, cualquiera, ok. Then uh, you have a preposition, después tenemos la preposición y después tenemos el chair, ok. Es un poco más chiquita, que es la que les acabo de dar una lista. Entonces, por ejemplo, podemos decir, I, um, hmm, what can we say, I, I give you, I forgot about the verbs, my goodness. Oh my goodness, right now. I feel, I feel, I'm gonna use this one. I forgive you, maybe. I forgive you for, for eating onions. <laughs> okay, you meeting igual, same. Aquí tenemos sujeto, verbo, preposición y gerundio. And then, que subject sería I, verb, forgive. Eh, aquí incluiría el you, ¿verdad? Después la preposición for and the gerund. Porque recuerden, hay que agregarle algunas palabritas a veces para que tenga un poquito de sentido. Ok, entonces puedo ver que algunos se me confundieron un poco y no me entendieron eso. Pueden utilizar cualquiera de las dos estructuras. He feels happy to start working. Maybe he feels happy to work, be working. Maybe, pero it's not nothing. He feels, feels happy. For working, maybe. I worry about spending time or money at Christmas. Okay. No sé si hay alguna duda ahorita. Porque ahí, por ejemplo, pude ver, ahí les puse una, una, un cheque. O solo un, like, thumb up. In passing for the how? In passing? I see. He never insists on paying with bit. I see, está bien. Solo que le puse eh, un thumb up, pero aquí me faltan varios que no me los han mandado. Remember that for me, it's important that you understand so we can learn, right? Es importante que te entendamos si tenemos alguna duda. Díganme, no tengan pena. I am here to help you, ok, estoy aquí para ayudarles, entonces dígame, aquí están las dos estructuras, lo único que deben de hacer es otro verbo, otro sujeto y otra preposición de las preposiciones que les acabo de mandar ahí en el grupo, ahí también se las mandé, so it's very simple, I dream about traveling to Ireland, very good means, I feel like cooking spaghetti is very good means Veronica, that's good.
questions right now? Preguntas o dudas? Okay, I'm gonna do some questions then. Let's see if you. Miss. Uh -huh. How can I say the sentence in negative form? Oh, so for example, in this case, I am, it would be, I am not interested of running. Mister, solo es eso. Y acá en negative for the simple present sería, I don't forgive you. Porque recuerden, vea, for eating onions. Porque recuerden que depende del sujeto para que podamos eh, completar con el negativo, ¿verdad? Porque puede ser para el she, ¿cuál es el negativo? She, en el verbo to be, quiero decir. She. Isn't. Ajá, Isn't. y en, en el simple present, the negative, it would be. Doesn't. Doesn't, exactly. Doesn't. So, y lo mismo, miren, el mismo orden, pues no cambia nada. Solo les agregan el not, depending on the subject. Ok. Here I have some questions. And I want you to help me to answer them. And I want the people that hasn't participated. Let's go first with mi Rebeca. What are you tired of doing? Like, for example, I am tired of drinking coffee supposedly what are you tired of doing miss miss rebecca are you there yes teacher uh, i am tired of i am tired of um, walking running uh-huh uh, um running okay <laughs> one more time repeat the sentence please i am tired of i am tired of running awesome in thank the you morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you let's go miss karen what are you tired of doing I am tired of uh -huh. I am tired of y de yo pero con ING run sleepy okay Mr. Riley Dine Dine What is that? What is that? Cen? Ah, eating dinner. ¿Estás cansado de cenar? I am tired. No, de hacer la cena. Ah, of doing the dinner. Ok. I am tired of doing the dinner. Nilton, what, what are you tired of doing? I am tired of working every day. Oh my goodness, Mr. Me too. We are too. <laughs> Thank you. Very good answer. What about you, Miss Adriana? What are you tired of doing? I am tired of working. Mm -hmm. Working too. <laughs> That's okay. Thank you. Blanca, what are you tired of doing? No, vamos a cambiar la, la pregunta porque tengo muchas. Uh, where do you drink about? Oh, going, Miss Blanca. Where you? What? Where do you drink about going? Like traveling. Mm -hmm. I drink about going to friends. <laughs> and you? I dream about going to to where going to my mm -hmm. con quien quiero que que quiere decir exactamente esa pregunta where do you dream about going donde 
tú sueñas? Sueñas. Ir. Um, going to? To, going to a hospital. El hospital, no, ok. Nunca he ido ahí. Oh, me neither. That's good, no. Miss. Jorge Luis, Casna, where do you dream about going? Um, I dream going to Europa. Europe. Uh -huh. Europe. Can you repeat the sentence, mister? I dream going to Europe. About going About to... going to Europe. Excellent. Thank you, mister. Let's go. Marlene Oneida, where do you dream about going? I am going to. I am going, or I I I dream. Perdón. I dream about going to the. Cerro Verde. To the what? To El Cerro Verde. Sí. Oh, nice! Thank you. What about you, Jenny? Where? <laughs> ah? I'm sorry. Perdón, perdón. No, no problem, Miss. Uh, what are you responsible for doing? A los que están con la cámara apagada le vamos a preguntar ahorita. Hmm, Jenny. <laughs> Clelia, what are you responsible for doing? For example, I am responsible for teaching, okay? I am responsible for, for my cats. Ah, for taking care of your cats. Taking care of your cats. Taking care. Okay, cuidado. Taking care. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very good. Thank you, Miss. Let's see next one. Diana, what are you responsible for doing? Mm -hmm. yes. What are you responsible for do for the mm -hmm. my parents? I am responsible for taking care of my parents. Okay. Porque eso es lo que me imagino cuando me dicen my parents es que los están cuidando, ¿verdad? Entonces yo soy responsable de o de cuidar, ¿ok? Taking care significa cuidar de mis padres, ¿ok? Let's go, uh, María Yamilet. Next one, Miss. Uh, I, uh, no, I no, next one. Uh -huh. What do you feel like doing this evening? Oh. What uh -huh. do you feel like doing this evening? I, uh, I feel like. I feel like playing with my baby. Ah, oh, nice. That's mm -hmm. good, Miss. Thank you for sharing. What about you, uh, Ana Veronica? What do you feel like doing this evening? I I feel uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'm sorry I didn't understand me sorry can you repeat uh, I feel I feel like happy I okay but I know you are happy but what are you going to do to relieve this happiness pero que tu vas a hacer por ejemplo I feel like Watching a movie, okay. Uh, watching a movie this evening, okay. Mm -hmm. Con que en este caso feel like eh, significa como con que tú te sientes ganas de ver una película, dormir, maybe I don't know, so like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I feel like dreaming. Dreaming. Oh, nice. Like dreaming. What about you, Mr. Carlos Roberto? What do you feel like doing this evening? I feel like sleep. Sleeping. 
the sleeping. Almost, Mr. Almost. We are almost finished. <laughs> What about you, Jenny? Carolina, no me contestó, Miss. What, what do you feel like doing this evening? I feel like listening to music. Listening to music. Listening to music. Sí, but thank you, everybody. Okay, so, chicos, quiero que quede claro. Please pay attention. Por favor, prestemos atención. Siempre que eh, utilicemos, eh, puede ser el verbo to be, como les decía, tenemos dos estructuras. Miren, esa última pregunta que pueden ver ahí, como pueden ver, es con otro verbo. Ok, miren, está el sujeto, el verbo, y está acá, bueno, todavía tenían like, eh, que es como preposición, no como verbo. Y después tenemos el gerundio, ok. Y eh, pues en este caso, pues yo utilicé algo más, okay? Uh, it's very simple. We only have to take into account the structure, okay? Preguntas, questions right now, it's time. Before we continue, I'm gonna do attendance section. Vamos a hacer sección de asistencia. Please say presente. Adriana Gabriela. Present. Thank you. Ana Marleni. Presente. Thank you. Blanca Luz. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Miguel. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Roberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Christian Alexander. Claudia Maria. Clelia Estela. Thank you. David Emanuel. Present. Thank you. Diana Noemi. Present. Edwin Roberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Jenny Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Luis Castaneda. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Dimas. Present teacher. Thank you. Julio Cesar. Present. Karen Estefanía. Present. Neil. Nilton Alexander. Present. Thank you. Rodrigo Jose. Present teacher. Thank you. Ruth Rebecca. Present teacher. Serafín. Present teacher. Thank you. María Yamilet. Present. Carmen Guadalupe. Present. Ana Verónica. Present. Marlene Oneida. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Ezequiel. Okay. Now let's go ahead and continue. Vamos a continuar y vamos a practicar un poco más. Give me one second. Mm, okay. Now let's go back to the manual. Okay. And we are going to go to page 14. Okay. Vamos a ir y a continuar en el manual in page 14. Okay. And here it says how to use ING after prepositions. Cómo utilizar los gerundios después de las preposiciones. And in here, um, oh, Something important to mention, algo importante a mencionar. Miren, aquí está por qué utilizamos los gerundios. De, o sea, primero tenemos la preposición y después el gerundio. Para, and it says to say who you report to. And use, uh, be responsible to or be accountable to. El, esto de las preposiciones y después gerundios lo vamos a utilizar para expresar a quién reportamos algo o para quién hacemos algo. Si se fijaron en las preguntas, ahí pues decían, ah, ¿de quién eres responsable? ¿De quién eres responsable? Eh, ok. And like that, Mary, many questions. Y así hay muchas preguntas. And here we have a definition of the, uh, this, this topic. Y aquí tenemos una pequeña definición. Help me please to read Edwin. Help me here please, Edwin Mineros. Hi teacher. Uh -huh. Hi. ¿Me ayudas a leer por ahí por favor, mister? Use. El, use a verb after proper, pro, prepositions. Preposition, like, like for, or in 
expression uh -huh. as be respond, responsible for being uh -huh. in target of by a call accountable be accountable for for committee committee Com committed to, to committed to dedicated to dedicated to very good thank you mister okay so dice que vamos a utilizar un verbo con ing después de una preposición como like it says like for or of estas son las preposiciones recuerden que teníamos in on to write about en expresiones como be responsible for be in charge of be accountable for committed to or dedicated vamos a utilizar los gerundios después de estas frases pues que están ahí subrayadas que pueden ver pueden utilizar un gerundio y aquí tenemos otra sección and here it says that help me to read please mr julio to talk about your responsibility mm -hmm. use be responsible mm -hmm. for be in change of be accountable for thank you mister same here lo mismo verdad para hablar sobre responsabilidades y para report, para hacer un reporte y lo que ya les mencionaba eh, que eh, podemos utilizar estas frases be responsible for be in charge of be accountable for y después de estas frasecitas, o sea, primero el sujeto, después esa frase y después el gerundio. Vaya, para hacer, un, para hacer un poco más fácil, sería así. Like, for example, I am, porque ese es el verbo to be, ¿verdad? ahí dice be, pero pues vamos a poner el verbo to be dependiendo del sujeto. I am responsible for hmm, helping others. Ok. Others. Y mire, ahí, ahí, sí, se, se dan cuenta que en la frase dice be responsible for, be in charge of, be accountable for, dedicated to, pero cuando dice el be es obviamente que vamos a utilizar el is, el are o el am, ¿ok? Podemos decir, they are in charge of hmm, cleaning, ¿ok? ¿Qué significa they are in charge of cleaning? Ellos están a cargo de la limpieza. ¿Ok? I don't know if we have questions right now. Ahora. Questions, questions. Questions. Quizá al inicio sí tenía, bueno, en mi caso tenía, no lo tenía muy claro, pero creo que ya viendo los ejemplos y... Por lo menos yo me ubico un poquito con okay. eso. Ok, pero why you didn't understand, mister? Que no me entendía. Bueno, en el otro es que tenía con, con otro verbo, pero creo que mejor nos vamos a ir solo con el verbo to be para más fácil. Uh -huh. okay. Ajá, con el verbo to be, pues siempre, vea. Vamos a ver. Wait a second. Oh, no. ¿Cuáles son las frasecitas que aparecían ahorita? Be responsible. Or, ¿Qué otra frase parecía? Be. ¿Se acuerdan? Hello. Be. Be responsible to. Uh -huh. Be responsible to. What else? Be. Accountable for. Uh -huh. What else? Bueno, two. Uh -huh. Be in charge of, be accountable for, committed to, and dedicated to. Okay. Try to remember those. Okay. Vamos a recordar esos. Okay. Be accountable to. What else? Vamos a ver ahora si las recordamos. Which ones are the other ones? Be in charge to. Uh, be in charge of. Uh -huh, and. ¿Qué otros había? Dedicated to. Dedicated to. Ajá, uh -huh. and? Committed. Committed to. Right? 
Ok, ahí tenemos estas. Cuando, le, como les comentaba, si ven ustedes, bueno, en este caso está el V. Ok, recuerden que estas frases son para ex, eh, explicar responsabilidades y para explicar un reporte acerca de una persona. Ok. Pues digamos, vamos a pensar en las responsabilidades que tenemos en la casa. Ah, ok. I am responsible for cooking. Ok. Porque ustedes, hay unas oraciones que no eran así. And another one it can be. Vamos a ver otra responsabilidad que tengan en su casas que me puedan decir vamos a ver Mr. Rodrigo tell me one responsibility in your house um, I am responsible for mm -hmm. work for working. Ah, working I am responsible for working siempre recordemos que después de la preposición vamos a utilizar un gerundio ok let's okay. see next ajá ahí se nos olvidó Serafín tell me I, I am responsible to mister I am responsible to I am responsible to buy de las compras buy uh, ok ok this compra, one's compra. for buying entonces for buying for shopping, for shopping, for shopping, mister. For shopping. Mm -hmm. What about... Uh, 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 see. Ana Marleni. You I are am, accountable. I am, I am oh. responsible for... No, accountable for, please, miss, help me there. Accountable to, for, 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 for. I am an I am accountable. I don't know what's mean accountable. Accountable is like something needed, like, oh my goodness, I don't know how to translate it. Wait, into Spanish. Wait a second. Accountable. Oh my goodness, I forget. Responsable, but for an organization, como que eres responsable, pero para una organización. O sea, no puedes faltar tú. Tú no puedes faltar en esto. Ajá. Pero, Por ejemplo, I am on my work. Ah, you are accountable for working then. Working. Mm -hmm. With tu familia, maybe. Yeah. Having the family, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Having, right? Carmen Guadalupe. You are in charge of. You are in charge of. Mm -hmm. ¿De qué estás a cargo en tu casa? Think about it. I am sharp um, working. Another thing, porque todos me están diciendo working. Another thing, please. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué haces en tu casa? ¿Qué responsabilidades tienes? ¿De qué estás a cargo? Like, no sé, like watching TV. No, 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 just something else. Ajá. Uh -huh. um, wash the dishes. Ah, washing the dishes. Como les decía, vamos a recordar okay, que después de la preposición vamos a utilizar un gerundio. Okay? Tengamos en mente esto, okay? porque así lo estamos aprendiendo ahorita. Así es el tema del momento. Okay? Porque yo sé que ustedes, me, porque si se escuchan todos, me están diciendo un presente, pero right now no, okay? pero ahorita no. Estamos utilizando un gerundio después de estas palabritas que están por acá. Miren, del for, del to, del of. Okay? Miren un gerund. Si ¿Sí se acuerdan de los gerund, ¿verdad? Que son los verbos que llaman ing. Los acaban de estudiar hace poco, creo yo, ¿verdad? In module number two. Uh, ya yeah. eh, sería también eh, for keeping ah yes tell me eh, payments up to date yes I am responsible or in charge yeah. eh, no I am responsible ah I am responsible for and for keeping uh -huh. eh, payments up to to date Update, updated, update, uh -huh. 
Ajá, ahí miren, eh, yo soy responsable de mantener el pago al día. Keeping the payment up to date. Or update, ok. Questions right now. Creo que hoy sí está un poco más entendible like this. Right? Yes. Yes, because right now you're going to do something in the plataforma. Everybody's going to go to the plataforma. Wait. Eh, okay, so ahorita and the discussion, I, oh, there. Ahorita les acabo de publicar algo en la sección de discusión in the plataforma. Everybody go there, todos vayan ahí a la sección de plataforma and discussion y deben de escribir. Ahí están dos preguntas. En ese es, what are you responsible for? Y tienen que utilizar lo que les acabo de explicar. Así, I am responsible for, y dicen ahí un gerundio, remember, you have to write it down. Ahí lo tienen que escribir. O puede ser, I, I report to my boss. Y a quién le reportan eso. Lo que hacen, ok, la de los responsible. Ok, so everybody go there. Aquí ya, lo, ya estoy viendo yo, a ver quién es. Ya todos lo pueden ver por ahí. So, go, go, go. A ver quién es publicando. Please, please, please. There, go there. ¿Ya lo vieron? I hope so. Ah, oh, ya tengo uno, un comentario. Dice donde dice discusión. Yes, ahí dice, denle clic hacia arriba, curso, progreso, fecha, discusión. A donde dice discusión, denle un clic ahí. Uh -huh. Y ahí les va a aparecer lo que acabo de publicarles. Creo que alguien publicó, pero no me sale. ¿Por qué? Ya lo vieron. Qué raro. Aquí está, miren. Se van aquí, para, tienen el curso, ¿verdad? Todo se puede descargar acá. Un curso. Entonces acá arriba dice progreso, fechas, discusión. Le dan clic, le dan clic ahí. Y cuando les cargue, les va a aparecer lo siguiente. Ah, no, aquí tienen que ir todas las discusiones, creo. No, no, no. Sí, ahí sabe. Todas las discusiones que aparece. Teacher, ambas tenemos que contestar. Sí, por ejemplo, I am responsible, responsible for pain. Let's say pain, eh, pain. And I report to, y ahí ponen de un solo, and I report to my family. Ok, solo eso. Ok, thank you. No problem. Porque recuerden que al principio yo les estaba preguntando, vea, ¿quién les reporta a ustedes? Oh, my family, my boss, my supervisor. ¿Y qué acciones o qué cosas hacen ustedes? Ah, oh, I am responsible for teaching or for giving examples, okay, like that. Después de un solo, pues vamos a... Oh, thank you, Mr. Julio. I am responsible for taking care of my son. Thank you, Mr. I'm waiting for the rest. 
Oh, very good. I am responsible for paying the bills and to my supervisor. Oh, very good, Mister. Thank you. Thank you, Mister David Emanuel. Ah, Miss Ana Verónica le comentó a Mr. Julio, I am responsible for, for paying my child tax to my manager. For paying, Miss, my taxes, my tax consultant. Then that's what you meant. Creo que eso es lo que significaba. Pero ahí sí no le puedo comentar mis, I think so. What happened to the other ones? I'm going to be waiting for the rest of the answers, okay? I am responsible for driving the car, family car, report. <laughs> nice, Mr. Divas. Rodrigo José, I am responsible for paying the internet. Really? ¿A quién lo tiene que report to? Ay, a la, a mom, mom, maybe. Oh, so I am responsible for taking care of my students, mister. I am responsible for my students. So, okay, pero... Verbo con NG for accounting my company. Thank you, Miss Athena. Very good. I suppose for. I am responsible for taking care of my students. Or teaching. I am responsible for teaching to my students, Miss Minister Carlos Roberto. Maybe it's que después del for del el responsible responsible of después del of o del for van a escribir un Verbo con ing es el gerundio, ¿ok? Igual acá, Miss Jenny's, I am responsible for paying, tal vez tiene que pagarlo, así es, for paying the eh, company taxes. Taxes. Creo que había alguien más. Es que debe de llevar ese ING en, después del, del el of o el to, ok? It's very important that we identify it. Ok, now, before we go, because it's almost time, um, let's go with exercise number two in the platform. Ahí, ya, ya que estamos ahí en la plataforma, ¿verdad? vamos a continuar con el ejercicio. Number two, and everybody go to tarea number two. And you are going to help me. Ustedes me van a ayudar. So help me with this one, Miss Blanca. Number one. Ah, ese era el ejercicio que no acabamos de hacer. Miss Blanca. Pero como ya lo aprendimos, vamos a practicarlo. Hello. Is who is responsible for supervise? Así yes. es. For supervise. Supervising. Exactly. Con ING, vea, porque miren, después del uh -huh. for, debe de ING. Very good. Thank you. Let's go. Next one. I want to help for a boy. Help me, please. Jorge Luis, number two. Who is change 
charge. Charge of the quality and quantity of t-shirts. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, who is in charge of uh -huh. sex? Pero después de eso. Are you sure? Uh. <laughs> okay, checks. Checks. Okay. Let's see number three. Let's go, Marlene. Who is in charge? Oh, read it. Sorry. Miss Marlene? Hello, Maria Yamilet. Repairing. Repairing. Can you read the question, please? Podrías leer la pregunta, por favor? Who is in charge of repairing the problem of the shipping containers? Very good. Number four, Jenny's. Hello, Jenny's. Hello, who is accountable for sell the products of the water house? Sales, yes, the letter A. Uh, letter B, selling. Ah, selling, okay, thank you, very good. Uh, David Emanuel, number five. Okay, who is in charge mm -hmm. of access the customer? Uh -huh. The correct is uh, assisting. Okay. Las demás, todas están bien? Everybody is, is it fine with the answers? Todos están de acuerdo con las respuestas that you just gave me? No, no. no. Which one? Well, no. Uh, number, two. number two. Number two, ¿cómo sería? Check, checking. Okay. Y las demás? Let's check supervising, checking, repairing. Selling assistance. Yes. 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 Okay, yes. let's send me a, let's see. Oh, very good, everybody. 20 points. Very good. Sí. Recuerden, estas son las preposiciones. Mañana se las voy a preguntar, ok. Las preposiciones que estamos viendo, se las envié también en el grupo. Ya le voy a volver a mandar la otra foto, la, la primerita, ok. Y les voy a preguntar las preposiciones, ok. Esta es una, miren, for, aquí está by love. Y después de estas preposiciones, ¿qué dicen que hay que utilizar? Share rooms. Okay. ING. ING, muy bien, thank you. Aquí está el off, miren, y después ING. Aquí está el otro for y el ING, vean, en este caso es Igual aquí el off, ING. Entonces, esas serían las respuestas. Do we have any questions? Tenemos una pregunta. Mañana vamos a continuar con esto. Don't worry, okay? So, and we are going to practice. Y vamos a practicar un poco más, okay? Okay, so, teacher. Okay, so I'm going to stop right here. We are going to stop here, okay? And we are going to continue tomorrow. Y vamos a continuar el día de mañana. And thank you for being here. Gracias a todos por venir. And have a good night. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye bye. Do you have questions, Mister? Oh.